You may be feeling a lot of fear right now while processing what the World Health Organization considers a pandemic now. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska on how to stay sane during these insane times. Michael. Wendy, you know, a lot of people are concerned. A crisis expert we talked to says the best way that we can protect ourselves is to take a, a deep breath like I'm doing right now and to not panic. Live your life. A passionate Anthony Brinkley is a problem solver. He's an author and motivational speaker using his skills after decades in the military to teach people how to be resilient and take action. And that's what most people do. They never get beyond the point of fear and they retreat from it. So fear continues to haunt them. The coronavirus pandemic is a crisis of historic proportions. Schools are closing, professional sporting events grinding to a halt. Life as we know it for now is not the same. Am I in danger right now? No, I'm sitting in my house with some great people and even though there's a pandemic going on I'm in a safe environment so why am I anxious but Brinkley says people have to go beyond just having a plan in place where most people deal with anxiety is they continue to run over a problem in their head over and over and then they don't actually get to the point where they choose an action and they just wait to see what happens to them instead of being that person in line buying toilet paper Brinkley says channel your anxiety into a positive all the times I'll say Crisis simply reveals your foundation. It could be your faith, it could be your family, it could be altruistic things that you do to help other people. Hey, look, we got this and we're in this together. We're a great community. So don't let fear just keep you and cripple you. And this morning, my wife and I made a plan. We have a three-month-old daughter. We hadn't really talked about it since, but Brinkley says now is the perfect time to make a plan. Hopefully, we won't have to put it into action. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.